Yo guys, in today's video we got another Ace Grader return. In today's return is going to be like Character Seeker Rares, SARs, Illustration Rares I think. Stuff that I think deserves more love. Kind of slept on right now in current market, but uh, I think this is the way to go. Especially when alt arts are too expensive. I think these are kind of your sleeper cards that are still obtainable, still not too expensive and worth collecting right now. So let's get into this red return. Let's see what's in here and yeah, let's get into it. But yeah, I'm not too sure how many cards there are, about 40, 50 cards in total. So cards are that way, we'll go upside down, we'll put them in any order. Oh no, I don't want to see, I don't want to see, I don't want to see. Boom, boom. Hopefully you guys are going to like it with my face reveal now, or like my facial in, uh, like reaction. You never see, you hear how I react when I get my grades. But you never see how I react when I get my grades. So hopefully you like it. If you like the channel, like this little content, make sure to like and subscribe. Also guys, if you don't know, you get 5% off if you use my code uh, Viv on Ace Grading, so make sure to check it out because that's obviously going to save you some money. You get like free labels with that. And obviously, supports the channels, allows me to do these returns. And yo, I do have some more cards as well. These cards I dropped off at London Card Show. Some new stuff to grade, which is on theme with this, and uh, one relabel. So if you see my streams, Instagram, and stuff like that, you would have seen these cards already. However, uh, let's reveal them here for the first time. So boom, we've got the chance seat from Mask of Change. Obviously, the new Twilight Masquerade in English. So this is the uh, that got a gem in 10. Love the Snorlax Chansey on that one. Really, really nice. So, but as you can see, this is a kind of a theme. I actually pulled this one in my uh, video uh, when we opened this box. And yeah, this is a gem in 10 as well. So, boom. Okay, okay. We'll make a 10 pile. All right, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's see if we can get here. Okay. We've got the Cornerstone Mask Ogapon 10. Let's go. We'll flick through these ones. We got a 10 on the Half Flame Mask Ogopon Gem Mint 10. See, so yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, I sometimes preview the stuff, but because it wasn't a return video, it was more like prom promote that we got these stuff in stock. I thought uh, I promote, I already showed it on my Instagram, but all this stuff, I always do videos before I, prom uh, I show anything on my Instagram. But oh, there we go. Well, Spring Mask Gem Mint 10, my favorite mask coming up. We got that Teal Mask Ogopon Gem Mint 10. And the last one. Not kind of in theme of today's video, but I recently purchased this in the secret card shop uh, video and I got relabeled with the ace labels. So, yo, the highest grade gold star uh, Raikou with ace. Is it the highest gold star ace ever? Don't know. I, I haven't seen any nines. I have to really look into that actually and check. Is this the highest grade? Because I also have a Mewtwo from that same shop. Shout out to Pokemon Plug uh, in a ace six. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. As you can see, Raikou Gold Star Ace label had a standard label, got that relabeled. So, there we go, there we go. So, I'm gonna put that to the side. These are part of today's theme, and yeah, let's get into this. So, as you can see, character secrets, trainer galleries in English, but character secrets. Where's the character in this one? Oh, yeah, down there. I didn't even notice that. But, uh, character secrets in uh, VMAX Climax, this would have been. 2022 yeah vmax climax so i think these stuff is so sleeper and some of them are starting to increase in value corvanite i'm part of the corvanite gang man i actually like corvanite it actually looks sick the v especially i think the v one is one of my favorites corvanite artwork so there we go so that's from silver tempest trainer gallery mimikyu with the acerola i think this one's it's not too bad there we go gem in 10 i've never graded much of these especially with ace they have ace labels for all of these obviously because they're beautiful art cards artworks awesome on them and is this saito as well yeah it's a saito artwork as well so yeah i think people start sleeping on these but i'll if we have some of the ones i'll, I'll get into shortly I'll, I'll talk about it but these are sars out of the crown zenith or galarian galarian crown zenith but sar in the japanese equivalent <sighs> no we got a mint nine this is literally my favorite one oh definitely have to get some more of these well i think these are so cheap you know what i might not have had one i bought one on ebay it might be this one i'll have to just go but start buying a lot of my crown zenith cards man because i think like crown zenith on the, its way up but like the evolutions have kind of gone up in value and i think eventually that set's going to be like hidden fates and whatever else in the future so we've got a nine pile there all right oh at least you got deoxys gem in 10 on the v max one from crown zenith so we'll take that we'll take that it's a nice little gem in 10. Obviously, English isn't too hard. Oh, Mewtwo. Oh, I knew that was going to get a night. I don't know where I got this from. Is this my one and only one? Oh, I need the centering's off. I've never managed to pack one. I think I might have got one from Grayson. But yeah, centering was just a little off. Obviously, one of the chases in Crown Zenith. Just haven't pulled one, man. Haven't pulled one. So that one is another one we'll be going after soon. Uh, but yo, oh, I spoil it. Zero Aura in a mint nine from Crown Zenith. A special art cards, the SCRs. From Crown Zenith, man, such sleepers. Look at this one. In a nine, even though we're ace, 
it, regardless of the grade, the card still looks sick with the Ace label. So that's the good thing about Ace. All right, guys, let's go, let's go. Oh, this one I think has gone up in price. And we got a 9 no. Obviously, with Ace, you can look up the grading report and see why it got. So we kind of see the subgrades and where it kind of let us down on the grades there. Because obviously, Crown Zenith is really cut well. Like, really nice corners. Because obviously, Sword and Shield era. I can imagine the centering a tad a bit. So, unfortunately, mint nine on that one. Because that is a stonker right now. We've got the Glaceon in the Gem Mint 10. This is my favorite one, at least. At least we got that one in the Gem Mint 10, guys. But I think with the Evolutions from Revolver Skies kind of going up in price, these cards also are going up in price. I always said, like, Evolution Collector, these are pretty much like VMAX ORs. These not as hard to pull or as valuable. But if you think about it, artwork rise. They're like alternative art V stars. And yeah, I don't know why people are sleeping in all these cards. So definitely don't, guys. Definitely don't. We've got the Raikou. Hopefully, we've got the set of dogs here. Gem Mint 10. I don't think I've graded my um, Crown Zenith with anyone else. Like, I don't think I'll send any to PSA or anything. Like, English equivalent. I've had a ton of the Japanese equivalent because we've had so many boxes of Japanese. But, oh, let's go. So, yeah. I think it's the first time grading my Crown Zenith after over a year of release. I've just I've been collecting, stacking them, and yeah, I think it's time to kind of grade them. But there is going to be some more other sets and rarities coming, so stay tuned. But I've got the Ent no, my favorite one, Entei in a nine, maybe a tad left to right. Sorry, I put that in the wrong pile, but yeah, tad left to right maybe. So there we go, there we go, Entei. Sweet Coon has the best artwork, but Entei is my favorite dog. But yeah, so far we've got five nines out of today, so we're not doing too bad. Showing us is not too difficult to pull. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh, now we're moving into VMAX Climax. Nine on that. Oh, God, guys. Nine on this one. So, bruh. Okay, we've got a nine on that. So, I'm going to make a pile for VMAX Climax nines. Uh, because let's see what we got. Because I bought a bunch of VMAX Climax. I think these are so undervalued. Nine again. Super undervalued. Like, you pick these up for pretty, not too much. But I was just trying to find, like, the minty versions, guys. So nine there okay let's see what else we got come on on oh, eight oh god we're not doing good but yeah i don't know for some reason they feel like vmax like minty vmax climb is kind of hard to find in japan like i know it's slight bits and bobs here and there uh like some for some stuff for the edging i don't know if you can see it there but an eight so yeah i really need to try and get some tens on these guys so hopefully we can but all right guard chomp i have so many of these i don't know how Oh, nine there. So, unfortunately, you got nine on that guard chomp with the Cynthia from Astral Radiance. This was a secret rare, one of the sub, like, half sets. Not, like, subset, but half sets in Japanese. Astral Radiance would be... Oh, bro, I've opened so much, I can't even remember. It's that green half box is the Japanese version. I can't remember what it's called, man. Bro, I know Dark Phantasma, Iridescent Akana, and the first one's totally slipped my mind now. It's been over a year. Start me! Oh, no! But you know what I mean? With these sort of art cards, I think these are really, really undervalued. But unfortunately, we are getting nines here. So, yeah, Starmie V with the Misty. I do have this signed by the Misty voice actor as well, uh, which is awesome. And I think that's a really cool Misty card. A really sleeper one. But Umbreon, yes. We've got the Gemini 10 on the Umbreon, at least from Brilliant Stars. I think people sleep on the fact that Brilliant Stars has so many evolutions in its trainer gallery. And then this one right here. I think this one used to be like in a 10, like 60 pounds. I think now it's gone over to 100 because obviously Umbreon VMAX in. Of all the skies is so expensive. And yo, we got the Gem Mint 10 on the English one here. Let's go. And yeah, obviously in, um, what you call it? I mean, Brilliant Stars one is it's come up now because obviously it's an awesome artwork. I think it's Karen, the trainer. Uh, and yeah, obviously these two, I think, are just sleepers, man. Like that is a set. Definitely, definitely. Did I put them back wrong way? I should put this one first in terms of certs. Yeah, I kind of just threw them all in here, though. But yeah, nonetheless, we'll take that. Blazer King, one of my favorites, but a mint nine. Oh, God, guys. Oh, God. I'm not doing too good on it today. Yeah, VMAX Climax is something I'm, um, I'm lacking on. Like, I, I open a ton on release. I just didn't get a lot of the chase cards or a lot of the cards I wanted or keep a lot. I think I sold a majority, like I sold, I only kept a select few. V-Star Universe and all our holiday sets going forward, I kind of buy every chase card or all my favorite cards at least. So V-West Climax would definitely have to go back and try and get some 10s. Obviously try and get some 10s of these as well. Uh, but oh, okay, we're going into the SCRs and we've got a Gem Mint 10 on the Roaring Moon EX from Paradox Rift. 
Let's absolutely go. So if you don't know these illustration rares, I think these here are super undervalued. Like right now, the Scarlet Violet print quality is awful. So if you get gem mid tens in these cards, I think right now they might be underpriced, but I think in the future we can see so uh, obviously not investment advice i'm not even going to sell this it's just part of my collection but in my opinion i think they're very undervalued and then they're so hard to get in tens so tens of these i think in the future could hold some value to be fair and i think people are sleeping on scarlet violet obviously everyone's going back for sword and shield but then people will come back to scarlet violet try and pick up these cards eventually try and get them tens so i recommend trying doing them now while they're still cheap or relatively cheap like you can get an ice q sar for two pounds which is crazy from obsidian flames uh which i find crazy you know so but yo let's go let's go let's see if we can get oh chin pao ex mint nine i do think i have one already uh in a previous video i picked this up at the eyc i saw it it's like only 20 quid and it looked really good like i would have thought that would have got a 10 like those corners are beautiful maybe centering obviously we'll look up the grade reports this is actually a very nice copy to be fair so i'm not sure what's laid down there so yeah there we go mint nine there so boom Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Japanese gem in 10. There we go. So, Blood Moon Ice Luna EX. So, there we go. This is Japanese, obviously, not just English. Uh, but yeah, obviously, from New Crimson Haze and obviously Twilight Masquerade as well. So, gem in 10. Now, I love this. Obviously, we need to provide. I say every time you guys know. Uh, so, yeah, let me know if you like that one as well. All right. Oh, yo, we got a gem in 10 on this. Yo, with the English one, I just get gas because I know. If I get a 9, it's a long day because it's just going to be hard to get a 10. So to get a 10 right off the bat, uh, again, I bought this. I think I bought it before they went up in price. And look at that hollow, man. I love this one. Obviously, NT one of my favorites. So uh, Gorging Fire, awesome there. So yeah, let's go, let's go. All right. Oh, this one is kind of random. It's not SAR. I picked this up at Collector's Card House. Uh, I think I picked it up in this video where I went to buy some stuff for uh, when I was giving away some stuff. And I went there to buy some stuff for stock. A 6. Yeah, not great at all. Uh, they did me a deal. I thought because there's an ace label option with ace grading. I thought yeah Let me just get that. Yeah, pretty bad grade I don't know if I've ever graded these I did have one back in the day as well I'm Not sure if I got it in the blister itself. It's a blister promo from the XY era or did I? Um, buy it on eBay, but yeah, this one yeah, I knew the corners were bad I was hoping for like seven eight, but yeah six uh, all the way to the bottom there there we go, there we go. But I'll probably still keep it because the Ace label is beautiful and that. Oh, this is an Indonesian promo. Obviously, I've opened this box recently, the Precious Collection box. I had an Indonesian one. I thought I sent it to Ace and we've got a jump in 10 there. I think these are pretty sleep, especially the English version. Uh, Japanese version is pretty good value right now to buy. They're not too expensive. Like sub For a Pikachu promo, they're not too expensive. They're like sub 200. The box is like 180, 150, probably less than that in Japan or something like that. For the Japanese equivalent, Indonesian one, I probably pay like 40 ish. Someone in my Discord from Indonesia, he always gets Indonesian promos, so I've got that one there. Oh, we'll talk about Indonesia promos. I think I've got a bunch of these off, off him for the store. Gem Mint 10 there, that's what I love to see. I think I might be the first Ace label I'll show you down here below. There is a new version of this, but this is a cool Indonesian promo exclusive to Indonesia as well from the Indonesia Journey promotion there. Uh, so yeah, and there is a new one which I need to get with a new shirt and background and stuff So try and collect all those because those are really nice and unique All right. Oh this card right now is doing numbers I don't think I'm gonna get a high grade on this as you can see centering's off I think the corners weren't the greatest but in a 10 like PSA 10 they, these are like a couple hundred pounds Which is crazy, but I think illustration res in general are super hard to grade and I think there's gonna be a big premium in the future on tens on majority of them anyways like uh so i think if you ever get a minty one just hold on to it grade it obviously check your raws first graded if it's worth grading in gem 10 already then grade it if not hold on to it but an eight on that i'll definitely take it shout out to my cousin um because he gifted me one of these boxes the Roman e xbox for christmas and i packed this out the paldia evolve pack so nonetheless i got one in my collection i have not managed to pack one the whole time uh so yeah regardless of the grade i know they're hard to grade so yeah we'll take that and that all rhymed i think i don't know but yo oh crimson haze illustration rare art rare uh gem in 10 glad to get a gem in 10 i think this is an absolutely beautiful one and yeah let me know if you're liking the art selection obviously pikachus are kind of threw in there because you got the ace labels on them but uh hopefully you're liking the variety of stuff here and kind of inspire you maybe you want to get some of that remax climax while they're still cheap Maybe some power the evolve like SARs and like SARs in general, like while they're still cheap. Because like I mentioned, guys, like 
in tens, they're not going to be easy. They're not easy in tens, so they're going to have some value there. But yes, oh, let's go. Let's go. I'll take that for sure. SCR, Altaria EX in English, Gem Mint 10. Obviously, again, Gem Mint 10, not easiest thing to do. Uh, to get in English SCR, so to get um, like these three, definitely some of my top favorites right now. Uh, from the last previous set, so I'll definitely take those. Obviously, I bought them because I want I need them in my collection. But oh, okay, we've got some ink Japanese SCRs Gem Mint 10 on the Marshadow Machamp GX. Obviously, you gotta send your old art with Ace Man for those Ace labels. And yeah, I did, I think I did have some in the back of the day, then I sold them. I don't know why, but I had one English, I think I got English one graded with Ace, and uh, it was a bit off centered. So glad to get Gem Mint 10 here now on the Japanese double blaze version. So I think I bought that for this submission as well because I thought let's do a little old art submission. Let's throw in some of those. But oh, we have some old art sitting in my collection. Oh, unknown V in a Gem Mint 10. I think this might be my first Gem Mint 10. I think I've got a bunch of nines on this, but I love this one. Because unknown V for Vivian there. And obviously this spells out victory. Victory symbol, I think. That all spells out, which is the this attack here. But V there. So that is pretty cool. I absolutely love uh the unknown it's just cool artwork cool art style who doesn't like unknowns definitely if you if you collected during like the ex era or played like ruby sapphire emerald like unknowns are kind of the that generation you know you just always like an unknown who doesn't but oh celebi mid nine i swear these are terribly hard to grade I always get off centered ones here but obviously understandable you can see that left to right a bit there so we'll take that oh okay some more vmax climax Mint 9. Have we got any Gem Mint 10 VMAX Climax yet? If not, I have to cry, but... Alright, Blaziken VMAX. Hold on, hopefully I'll focus. Oh, yo! Let's go! First, first Gem Mint 10 here. We'll definitely take that. Let's go. Blaziken V. We'll take that. So that's Review X Climax. That's the VMAX version there. Unfortunately, we didn't get out. I do prefer the V version for Blaziken, so we'll definitely take it. Sylveon! Chapman 10 on the Sylveon, that's what we like to see. I'm surprised I didn't have an English one to grade today, but I'm sure I had one. Uh, but I might have graded it already somewhere else. But yeah, I wish I said it with Ace because I love the Ace label. Look at that, beautiful. All right, Zero Aura 8 on that one. So unfortunately, we got 8 there. Ugh. Okay, not so good, but at least we got a few 10s. Okay, 9 on the Zamazenta. I guess that's the last. 8 again. Oh. Yeah, be careful VMAX Climax. I will say on VMAX Climax, like I bought a few from a different stores and uh, yeah, it's just they look perfect on the back. I think some of the edging maybe uh, knocked these down. So obviously on this 8 one, I'll show you the, the subgrades here and why I could have gotten that 8. Uh, but overall, not too bad, especially like the variety we've been getting and hopefully showing you like obviously not just all arts to collect, like get these SCR as well. This one was probably like 30, 40 quid I paid up at eBay price I paid. I don't know if it's gone up or not, but I'm sure in a 10 value, it's definitely going to massively increase, especially 151 SCRs. I see massive increases in those 10s, but obviously those 10s are a lot harder to get, uh, etc. Uh, so yeah, definitely check it out, guys. If you are new here, make sure to like and subscribe. Use my code VIV on Ace Grading. But yeah, make sure to use that code because it gets you 5% off on Ace Grading. And if you like today's video, make sure to like, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.